everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm mary jane and in today's episode we are debuting traveling safari with mary jane and pam pamela she doesn't like it when i call her pamela <laughs> with pamela it's her home this is going to be our first trip to uh, Palavura that we document. We've been here several times. Um, I'm just gonna pause the voiceover so that you can have a look at the um, monkeys on your left. This weekend we are visiting Peace and Privacy Lodge. It's a luxury villa with three bedroom in Palavora. It's located in the Hans Marinsky estate, uh, surrounded by a world of wildlife. I hope that you will enjoy this content and subscribe to our YouTube channel as we are going to share more of these trips with you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mary Jane and I do this. I travel safari and today we are at Peace and Privacy. It's a lodge in Palavura. It's a three bedroom villa. Come in, let me show you. Um, so this is a sitting area. Never mind the mess. We came here yesterday so there's a bit of mess. Here and there, not anything out of this world. This is the sitting room area and my favorite part of it is probably the light and those artificial um, ostrich eggs as you can see and we have a big TV, we have a sound system, we have unlimited Wi-Fi and nice views. There were ostriches this morning just outside there as you can see and um, we were having a picnic and we <laughs> got disturbed by monkeys outside. But you know, those are the pleasures of traveling safari. I'm going to show you the room. Um, this is just a standard room. It's just a standard room. Um, it comes with its own bathroom. Um, you can just come have a look. Comes with a big mirror. Comes with a big shower. <laughs> And it comes with these gorgeous um, laundry baskets. I mean, I want to take it home, but I'm not sure if they will allow me to do that. Anyhow, it fits two people, as you can see, it's spacious. Um, and we are, I'm going to take you to my room, the one that I picked for myself. Um, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about this room. It's the biggest in the villa. It has an amazing view when you wake up and you feel like you want to just absorb the nature and you know feel the reason why you are here get the value for your money <laughs> 9,000 for two nights this is what you get um, you get the spacious bed as well there's another window here you have yes not king animals but yes yes we love animals um, and this is my also my favorite part of the room it has and after, all to myself, but this is me with a big mirror. I can take a bath and look at myself. I love looking at myself. This, you know, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Mean? <laughs> okay, so this is another mirror where it's just me. I was getting ready. It's a bit messy, but you know, it's a beautiful place. Um, and I'm going to take you to Pam's room which is adjacent to the kitchen. Okay. And they have this spacious kitchen where you can make your breakfast, dinner, lunch, brunch, whatever. And you know, it comes fully finished. You have your microwave, you have your toaster, you have your kettle, your coffee maker, and I'm not sure if you're gonna need those or they're just accessories. And in here, they do have a dishwasher because we don't wash dishes with our hands anymore. It's not 1916. They have two, oh, 
washing machine and dryer, huge space. You can practically rent this place for life. I mean, if you have the money for it, there's a big fridge as well. And the best part about this room is that it has two entrances and two exits. So I can just enter through the bathroom. I'm not Oscar Pistorius, so I wouldn't do that. Um, enter through the bathroom and then go into the bedroom. It also has a huge mirror. It, hosts, it also has a big bathtub and a shower. And this is Pam's room. Yeah, this is the kind of person she is. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> this is Pam's room. Um, she also has her own bed, her own fan. I also forgot to mention the place has a thatched roof. I said it correct, right? Thatch. 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 Not Yes. Fashion. <laughs> That's true. Okay, mm. yes. And um, it's gorgeous. Why would you not want to come here? Why would you not want to come here? And um, you know the best thing about this place, right? It's situated almost less than 10 kilometers from the Kruger Gate. So if you, if you haven't seen any animals while you're staying here, you can just take a drive to the Kruger and see all the big flies. Isn't that a win? I, I, mean, I think that's great. I, I think that's great. What do you think, Pam? Okay. Anyhow, Pam is very tired because we were having a picnic and monkeys chased us away. That's why we are inside here. We were supposed to give you guys a review of the place while we are seated outside. But you know, when you are in the wild and you're doing a safari travel, you expect these kind of things. So guys, um, it's almost the evening and we're gonna go on a drive around the property and maybe we'll spot in the side of France. <laughs> So on our second day on the property, we were hosted by a great host. Um, he hosted us, of course, from the day we got to the place, which was on a Saturday oh. afternoon. Um, he took us on a drive around the Hans Marinsky Golf Estate, Golf Course Estate, whichever you prefer. It depends where in the world you are from. Um, so the, the, the golf course, of course, is located on the border of the Kruger National Game Reserve. Um, it offers more than just a challenging course for golf lovers worldwide. Um, the wildlife alone on the property is definitely a sight for sore eyes and it will often leave your experience with tales to tell to your friends, to your boyfriend, to your ex-boyfriend, to your ex-husband, to your ex-wife. Okay, I'm joking, but it will definitely leave a good impression. The nature is just something to die for, and you are more likely to sight some wild animals. Unfortunately, because of the weather, we couldn't see uh, much of them, but we did see a couple of impalas, ostriches. Oh, and I thought I saw a giraffe. And we did see some hippos, of course. What the hell? So, so they are in here. here. Yeah. I've never seen them this size, like this. But it's the same body of water, but for some reason. Yeah. Sure. Or maybe there's something they are running away from. Ah. Oh my god! Try not to shout. Okay, see. They don't like noise. Yeah, you see, they've been looking at us. So I just stuck here under this hut to get some pictures. Oh my god! 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 O
God. We are really glad they actually came out. Thank you guys for watching.